tracking so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. For 29 years, Easy Street Productions has been making it a special holiday season, and this is the weekend they do it again. Todd and Maureen bring the cast together for Miracle on Easy Street at Powers Auditorium. This is fine family entertainment for all age groups. They got some new songs included in there. It's a bright, big, sparkly entertainment to show. Go to WKBN.com for community events to find out more about it. It's going on this Friday through Sunday. Now, December records. Uh, here's where we've had the least snow. In 1939, only half an inch of snow for the full month of December. Well, right now, we're at less than that. We've only had four tenths of an inch. So we're, not, we're one of the least snowiest uh, Decembers on record, but we're going to add to that pretty quickly here today because we actually have a deficit of almost four inches of snow for this month. And it looks like we could pick up a good deal of that uh, coming up here in the next couple, a couple of days. Here's the you know, snow that's moving in on the Lakeshore area there up in uh, Cleveland. So if you're traveling north this afternoon, be aware you are going to pick up some snow right along the snow belt there. And there is a winter storm watch that includes Mercer County. So that means generally around our area we'll get one to three inches of snow later tonight and an additional one to three inches of snow for tomorrow. But it could be more like two to four inches of snow in Mercer County heading north. As for future tracker, it starts picking up the snow here around first news at five. Now this is just a light band that will roll through with uh, uh, Paul Wetzel telling you about that and telling you to be prepared after first news at 11 because more snow develops during the overnight. And uh, that's around 3 a.m. where we start to get the snow. Notice the temperatures are around freezing as we get into first news at five tomorrow morning and first news at six. That's when we're going to get most of the snow into seven o'clock and that's when you're traveling to work or school. So prepare right now to start earlier so you can take your time and not be slipping around because it's going to be windy as well. We'll have wind gusts that'll probably get up to about 29, 30 miles per hour. And then look at this. The temperature drops in the afternoon as the snow tapers off a bit. We go from the 30s, our high for the day, to the 20s tomorrow afternoon. And then as we head into first news at 5 and 6 tomorrow evening, temperatures will be in the teens and we could get an additional 1 to 3 inches of snow. So our weather team forecast for today, this is the dry one, but it's a cold one, 32 degrees the high. Then for tonight, we start to see snow developing. It could be a one to three inches into the overnight. Tomorrow morning during first news this morning, temperatures start in the 30s, then drop to the 20s in the afternoon on a windy day. Again, wind gust up to near 30 miles per hour with the snow that could amount to one to three inches of snow and then even more snow for Tuesday evening. We still have snow in the forecast scattered around for Wednesday and Thursday on colder days there. I've only 19 Wednesday into Thursday and even Friday. There's still a chance of snow, but then we dry out for the weekend. It gets a little warmer by Sunday. It's 40, 43 by next Monday.